Hey, what's up, Bri Bri? Hey, Tio. Where's Joey? He's sleeping. Well, he better not be awakened, or he might force me to get out of his chair. Okay, but you know we're going to have to wake him up so we can film because we need to get the shot today. Or I could host the show. <laughs> oh, like, like seriously. Um, I, I'm not going to let that happen. Not, not because I don't believe in you, but like I'm not going to deal with Joey when he gets mad because I let you host. What if I give you $20? You seriously think I can be bought? <laughs> What's up, Pop-Tarts, and welcome to the Pop Stop. I'm your host, TL, and this is my co-host, Bri Bri. Say hi, Bri Bri. You don't have to actually tell me to say hi. Okay, well. Hey, guys. All right. So today, we're going to finish up with our second part of our haul for Force Friday, Force Awakens, Star Wars Week. Force Friday. Say it. Say it. Force, Force Friday. Force Friday. <laughs> so we're going to start off first with the new cute little droid, BB-8. First up, we have Pop Star Wars number 61, BB-8. Uh, looks to be maybe the new main droid from the series. Uh, the companion for Rey, which makes me think that it might be taking R2-D2's place, but never ever in my heart. Bri Bri, what do you think about this one? So I think he's really cute. I think the design of him is really cute, but obviously he's a lot different than any of the other droids that we've seen before, especially with this like round ball. Kind of like has. they went from trash can to snowman. <laughs> yeah, almost exactly like they did that. Um, they did kind of keep the same like basic shape in the head though, and he's got like the really big lens on front, which you know we're used to seeing in R two D two. Now. I have seen some, um, it's like, I think that the brand name is called Spiro. It's a toy that they're creating that is um, remote control. Well, I don't know if it's still remote control because you control it from your smartphone yeah, from your or smartphone. your tablet, but whatever kind of control. And he rolls around and he makes noises and he looks super, super cute. And I really hope that we can actually get our hands on one of those. Yeah, because it's going to drive my dogs crazy. So I really want one of those. <laughs> so next up we have Poe. Dameron. We have Pop Star Wars number 62, the best freaking pilot in the galaxy, Poe Dameron. I really like this one. I think he's probably my favorite from this set because he's got the little cool rebel signs all over him. He's got this cool freaking helmet too. And he's got this awesome scar under his eye, which makes him look super tough. But, um,. Again, just totally speculating from what we have gathered and what we heard online. He might be kind of the new Han Solo. So again, I like Han Solo. So maybe this guy will be good too. Bri Bri, what do you think about him? So one of the first things I want to kind of um, point out is the fact that they changed the actual base of the Star Wars Pops. And the neat thing is, is these are actually a lot harder to get off of the base. And they have two different sized holes instead of just the two loose ones. That's kind of neat because, you know, they just feel a lot more stable. And that's true of this whole, all the Force Awakens Pops. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. I think he's really cool looking. I totally agree with you. I mean, he's just packed full of detail. I love the fact that they gave him, you know, the actual lens that's actually layered from his face and his eyes. I mean, he's just really cool. And I'm excited to see who he is in this movie and really get to know this character. I just like him because he looks like he's ready to go to the danger zone with his little danger top gun helmet. Danger zone! <laughs> All right, so now next up oh. is number 63, fan favorite. Chewbacca. I really like this one too. Um, I like it a lot better than the other Chewbacca sculpts, but his, now we've, this is like 30 years since we've seen Chewbacca last, since the Battle of Endor. He's a little older, a little wiser, a little lighter. I would personally like to see a little bit more gray in his hair, <laughs> but he still looks really cool. The detail is just amazing on this pop all the way around, and his crossbow is just sick. Bri Bri, what do you think about this one? I mean, I love Chewbacca in the first place, and I was really excited to see the changes in details on this pop because he looks a lot more like Chewbacca than the older version that kind of looks almost like a bear and doesn't really resemble him as much. Um, they definitely re-sculpted the body. The body on the old one kind of almost looks 
like a, like a doughboy or something. It's just very smooth and, and they got just the actual shape of his body, the shape of his head, his arched eyebrows. Like a mad little his, shih tzu, yeah. just mad. <laughs> his kind of like growl. And another thing that I love that they did in this pop, I'm sorry, I'm really excited about this one. I love the fact that they actually gave him like the little fang type teeth, whereas the other one they just painted the mouth all white and you couldn't see that detail. I mean, he just looks really cool. His hair is actually like ombre and has different shades in it. You know, like you were saying, his crossbow, it's longer, it's leaner, it has more detail, where the other one is just kind of a blob and looks like a toy. I mean, he's just... He's Even his little cute. Wookiee sack is better. It is, it really is. I mean, they just, they really did um, go all out. Like I said, I'm sorry, I'm really excited about this pop. It's gotta be one of my favorites, so. You know, like I think they knew that this one was gonna be a big one, so yeah. they kind of spent a little bit more time with it. Yeah, definitely. So now that we have Chewie out of the way, <laughs> next is Captain Phasma. Pop Star Wars number 65, Captain Phasma. Spoiler alert, he is a she. <laughs> and she just so happens to be the leader of the First Order Stormtroopers. What? And she also has this cool little cape. So she's the Phantom of the Opera of the stormtroopers. She's also, I mean, she's ready for a night on the battlefield or on the town. And um, what do you think about her, Bree Bree? I think that she looks really, really cool. Um, I'm actually glad that they finally decided, decided excuse me, to go with a um, silver or chrome um, character that has this like kind of classic stormtrooper look that we're used to seeing. Um, I really think that it would be a cool idea if they actually came out with a variant edition that was chrome, much like they did with the uh, C-3PO pop. I think that, you know, like you said, the cape is like a really cool look. She does have the same uh, basic body shape as the other stormtroopers. Her helmet, though, is quite a bit different. It has kind of more sharp edges and more of a flare, and it has these kind of like lines um, running down it that just kind of gives her a little bit more distinction. The only thing I wish, I wish she had a gun or a blaster yeah. of some sort, you know, or maybe again for a variant, maybe there'll be a variant with a different blaster. Maybe she has some signature weapon or something know. like that. I'm excited to find out who she is. Though, I am too. Yeah. So next up, let's find out who she leads into <laughs> battle, the posse of troopers. We have Pop Star Wars number 66. The First Order Stormtrooper, Pop Star Wars number 67, First Order Snow Trooper, and Pop Star Wars number 68, First Order Flame Trooper. So let's get in, let's go. And again, Stormtrooper, we'll start out with him. Bree Bree, what do you think about them? So I think that they did a really good job with this pop. Um, one thing that you may notice about this particular Stormtrooper is the fact that they went away from the Popeyes and they made him look more like, kind of like the Clone Trooper and more like the actual Stormtrooper. Um, obviously, as you can tell by his suit, he resembles the original Stormtrooper character very well, but there are subtle little updates to his actual outfit, which is really neat. His duck mouth. <laughs> and it looks like he's smiling, kind of like a little platypus, kind of what he looks like to me. But not as menacing as I would hope to see from a stormtrooper. He's but too cute for you. He's, I mean, look, he looks like he's smiling. <laughs> like he just, or like some kind of little fancy little mustache or something. I don't know, but he's, he doesn't look scary to me. What do you think about the snow trooper? So the snow trooper, um, it's really interesting because we just got the actual, um, the Walgreens exclusive, excuse me, uh, Snow Trooper, which is a really cool looking pop, but it did have the Popeyes. And so I'm actually glad to see the fact that they went away from that and kind of resembled the character a little bit more. Now, obviously this guy's got a lot of the same details. He has the backpack and the long coat and the boots and everything that you're used to seeing on the Snow Trooper character. But one of the biggest differences is in the actual mask itself, instead of just having the very long mask, you know, he kind of actually has this more like gas mask looking type thing so I mean I'm sure it's not a gas mask I'm sure it's something for the snow but it, it resembles that more um, and it's you know keep moisture off and stuff <laughs> maybe you know, that's what it is there. but he is really cool looking and he he resembles the original character so he holds true to that but he does have these updates and these differences so he is a newer you know a new version of the same character which is cool and now we'll get to my favorite of the troopers the flame trooper 
Now he is a completely new character. We don't really know, you know, much about, much about him. He's got flammable liquids except on his back. Except for he's got a flamethrower and he's got the tank to prove it and the huge gun and you know, so I'm really excited to see what this character does. I mean, come on, fire. I mean, that just bumps but, everything. I up. know, plus he's got the cool little hose that connects the tank to the gun and, and he's everything. He's got a lot of detail. He has a there. lot of detail. Yeah. I really like that trooper. And I think it's maybe maybe it's because I've never seen one before. Yeah. I just I'm really excited about that I'm one. I'm also a little um, curious as to how come the flame trooper and the snow trooper, their masks resemble each other so closely, but the storm trooper, you know, doesn't really look as much like them. Oh no, I understand. I, like I I'm feel... wondering why they're doing that. I think it's interesting, but I'm, I'm just curious. I'm curious to see the movie and see, you know, how that all comes together. I'm sure it's some kind of specialty training or something. You have to get a special <laughs> helmet. Everybody starts with that one and then you just kind of... That's what it is? Yeah. It's, it's like different degrees. So um, to talk about the box a little bit, I didn't do that earlier. Um, so this is quite a bit different than the other Star Wars um, boxes. You know, the color scheme's different. It's black. Well, there was a black box, but it's black and red. Um, obviously, with the actual characters, there's a lot of new faces in here. Like we've shown you, there's a few that are familiar, but a lot of new faces. So I'm really excited to see who these people are. Um, it does have this cool little Star Wars The Force Awakens um, little logo on it and one of the big differences in this box is instead of the um, gray and white backing plate they actually changed it and came out with this little red backing plate so you know it, the boxes have just kind of a new look and a new feel to them for this line which I think is really neat I'm, I'm glad that they did something different rather than just putting them in the same Star Wars boxes no I like that too because it makes them easier to see on the shelf too so I can see which ones <laughs> I want <laughs> Well, that is the end of our Force Friday haul. Now, we do have a part one, so if you haven't watched that yet, feel free to watch that. Let us know what you think. And please do like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and you can like us on Facebook. Also, we would love to hear what your favorite uh, Force Awakens pop is, so go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. All right, and then that's going to do it, so keep it popping, people. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast. <laughs>